Welcome back. What we're talking about today is the FLIR thermal imager. And is it worth buying? I've had this thing for a while and I still have mixed feelings about it. As in... Clarity at distance versus... It gets me in the thermal imaging realm. Uh, I don't know exactly how to explain it. You know, um, is it the FLIR breach? Absolutely not. Will it outlast the breach as in usable hours on one charge? Uh, yeah, hands down. It's like five, six hours. I don't know if it's, I ain't never had it six. I've had it four and a half hours. But, the FLIR breach interchangeable batteries you have the hour and a half battery and them batteries ain't cheap so look at that investment whereas once this thing goes out of its cycle charges it just becomes a paperweight um, second kickback I got on this I have yet to be able to mount it uh, you know, on a mount on a helmet, whereas I can do it with the breech. Um, I had eye surgery just less than a week ago, so if it's watery or what have you. Um, whereas with the breech, you can do it. You know, that's my mixed feelings. I can see up to a hundred yards and identify my horses at a hundred at a hundred yards and know it's my horses. Um, human on the other hand 100 yards you're not going to be able to detect to see if that's your wife or a foe you may be able to tell yeah it's a female or a female but realistically this picks up and I'm not pulling any punches this would be identifiable up to 75 80 yards and inward um, I do love the eight color palettes that it has because it does offer you different uh, and unique abilities when you're out in the dark um, what I couldn't quite make up in let's say the hot white I turn it over to iron. I'm just using examples here. I'm, I turn it to iron, and it comes in a little better. Or the rain, which is the uh, the famous um, predator, um, or any other the eight, you know of the eight palettes. Um, a big favorite um, amongst all um, a lot of them are the white hot or the black hot. I like it, don't get me wrong, um, but I like the Insta Alert, that's what this, the, the Insta Alert, it, it gives like a slight orange, it's white, and it gives like a slight orange effect, uh, I like that, and then I like um, the Fire 1, Fire 2, uh, Fire Grade 1, Fire Grade 2, um, the Iron, on the other hand, and with this one, and I forget what it's called with the breach or the other ones, but it it gives its own little unique characteristic, as in bringing something. Oh, I can see that a little better now, you know, at a distance. Uh, whereas others, it just kind of washes out. Like this one has the last setting on this one is the color wheel. I couldn't really see my tractor uh, and or uh, Suzuki Boulevard from about. 60 yards away. Well, I was, you know, as I was flipping through the different pallets, I could pick it up with a color wheel. It was like, wow, easy. Um, but does it have its? Does it have its use? Yes, it does. Uh, is it limited? Yes, it is. Um, I let's say here in the house, you know. Will it pick up a human two or three rooms over? Oh, absolutely, sure. Will you be able to see furniture? Mm hmm, questionable. 
But, you know, if, let's say, uh, if they're hiding, you know, you give it a quick scan, you know, it's like a night and day difference that, you know, you can pick this up at. And it also picks up foot tracks. Um, and things, if you're on it real quick, I mean, you know, they slowly dissipate, you know, my dog can walk through the house and I can see its little foot tracks, um, where, where she's went or what have you for like a minute, maybe 30 seconds or something, but um, getting back to the subject at hand, would you purchase this or hold out and get something a little, a, a little better? Like I said, you know, before, it gets you into thermal imaging world. It gets you. It, it it allows you to do something that you haven't done before. Uh, so you know it opens a door in that realm. Is it the best thing coming and going compared to the other thermals? No. Uh, but for six hundred bucks, like I said, I'm I'm kind of mixed. I'm not you know I'm not pulling any punches. I myself would would purchase this again. Yes. Because I can't afford two thousand, three thousand dollars for a mid-tier, top-tier uh, thermal thermogenizer. I really can't afford this. You know, five hundred ninety-nine dollars, six hundred and thirty, six hundred twenty-four, twenty-seven plus tax. You know, our or correction after tax. That kind of hurts. You know, especially if you would do it. All at one time now. If you would save up to that, yeah, it wouldn't hurt so bad. But I mean, I have used this, shoo, geez, many a time here on the farm. You know, through the coyotes, raccoon, possum, locating my horses when they wouldn't come down to feed. Uh, you know, in the early mornings. Um, the people who like to snoop and poop around, try to steal things. Um, it works out amazingly but you know I got some video uh, that's another thing this does record video and I have yet to keep it on record long enough to fill up the memory card I don't quote me on the gigabyte 1.25 or 2 gigabytes I don't know what it precisely is it does video but it doesn't do audio so you know take it for what it's worth I like that aspect if you you know you got a click mag trap whatever you want to call them um, do recon you can record come back show your findings instead of trying to explain yeah they got a half track down here loaded to the teeth you know record it blah 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 but you know that's, that's a little militia aspect there uh, going with the uh, night vision. Uh, I ran NVGs while I was in the Army. Absolutely loved them. Had night vision in the civilian world prior to the service. But this was the night vision I had prior to the service. This is a night owl. This is the marine version because it's blue. It's waterproof. Um, it does the green just like the militaries did. Is this as good as the NVG that you had? No but does this get you in the night vision realm yes it does have I used this uh, on the farm yes I uh, yeah because for years that's all I've had was this here this and a flashlight um, the IR is a joke I mean you know it's just a red beacon out there if I have that on and you're looking back at me you can see the red light here so yeah um, I can see in pitch black with it you know with the IR on if it's moonlight outside if it's ambient light everybody knows what night vision does um, it's a good little unit can I put this on my head or helmet and scroll around no but as a, in a static position you know reach into my bag get it scan a little bit um, good to go same way with the FLIR night vision um, 
This here was like a buck eighty nine in two thousand and five, six. 2005-2006, this is now 2021. It uses the C, these batteries. You get, I don't know, an hour or two out of them. Don't really know. Uh, I had run it until they ran down, you know, on them. Uh, but I've also had the Firefield Night Vision. Hard to beat for its price. And it uses two AA batteries, eight hours on one charge. Uh, AA batteries is cheap. I had a friend come in from Colorado. He brought me some ammunition. I handed him a brand new Firefield Night Vision. I mean, um, Dean, he's, a, he's an awesome person. Like I said, he didn't have to bring me ammunition. He lives in Colorado. I live in Virginia. Uh, he come out here for his his fiance's family, you know, uh, Thanksgiving, and decided to drive up from Georgia to here to to meet me. And you know, we hung out, done the, done the deal. And uh, like I said, I had that night vision. I gave him the other night vision because we've been talking for years. And him moving out here, and me moving out there. Um, but anyway, going back to the FLIR. Sorry to get sidetracked. Uh, like I said, I recorded some video, and um, I'll have to do a voiceover in the video to tell you how many yards out I am, or the horses are, or the dog, or the motorcycle, or, or whatever. And um, scroll through each pallet and let you look at the pallets. Um, I'll set it down on the porch, facing out, and then I'll walk. I'll walk down to the trailers that we have and possibly the boat and you know but I'll have I'll have it there and you can see where I'm at and I can tell you where I'm at in the voiceover so stay tuned all right there's a little voiceover I'm just going through the different pallets and setting up the camera I can say right off the get-go watching it here on the computer is not as clear as it is when you're looking through the camera firsthand so take that in consideration because i am undetect or unidentifiable at 33 yards and like i said each time that i raise my arms out I'm at uh, a different yardage. The first one being at 33, second one being at 55, the third one at 85, and down there where the horses is, 103 or 105 is one of those two. Obviously, this here is the white hot. Put my cigarette out. There's 33 yards. This took me 20 minutes to do uh, the few pallets that I did do. I did white hot. I am wanting to say uh, grade fire one. And I forgot which ones I did do. As we get to them, though, we'll show you. And each time I get to the horses, I bend down and get them grass and hand it to them. I think there is at 85, maybe. Let's see if I go over to the horses here.
And when I get it to horses, I'm at 100, 100 some yards out. And like once again, I want to reiterate reviewing it on the computer <laughs> is like I'm not going to say a night and day difference, but it is a big difference in the clarity that one would see in identifying factors, or what have you, as in friend foe, which. Even the the good ones, you know, is I've been told that uh, 200 meters or something, but you know, uh, for identifying factors. I mean, I don't know. I can't uh, attest to that because I just don't know. Obviously, here I'm on the way back. I'm within the well within 30, 30 yards. And it was white hot. And I'm walking down the pavement as well. Here's black hot. You can see the horse down there. He's black. This is insta alert. If you look very close, you'll barely see some orange on the horse. And here's grade one fire. With about where I'm at right now, that's that 33 yards is kind of what I look like at in the 70 yards when you're looking firsthand through it. Like I said, the recording does on the cat, you know, from the computer over it, it does not do it any justice. It just it's like washing out for some reason. I don't know what the dealio is. And like I said, that's my horse. He's like 14. That's Cody down there. He's 14 3. And Chance, he is 16 3. But you can easily spot them out. Like I said, I'm not trying to take up for FLIR here in the least, but it's it's the FLIR Scout TK. It was designed for hunting, camping, you know, recreation. Although I'm, you know, I use it for hunting, recreation, and militia. home security, things of that nature. And where I'm with the EMS department, you know, we could use it for search and rescue as well.
like I said, I didn't go through all eight pallets. As in walking down and back. I just went down the ones that I like to use. This is iron. That is rain, which is AKA the predator. And as you can see, when I come into the view, the foreground turns a certain, you know, a different color and puts everything on me. I take for granted I'm, where I'm walking up and down the road. It's throwing a heat signature versus if I was in dirt. That's Brandy running around. Just a little nine month old mountain cur. So possibly where I'm going up and down the hard top, it could possibly be throwing off the clarity of me. So, you know, where it's such a heat um, hot spot, throwing off a heat signature. But like I've said before, would I purchase this item? <sighs> yes, I would. Simply for the fact that it gets me into the thermal imaging world. Um, it's like a, a, a having a four-wheel drive on your four-wheeler or vehicle. Do you use it all the time? No. But you're glad you got it when you do need it you know as in getting out of the ditch going through mud snow etc etc kind of like um, is this going to stack up with the uh, what comes to mind is the FLIR breach no it's not But like I said, it gets you into the thermal imaging world. This is the color wheel. And once again, the foreground changes color and puts it on me. I have the biggest heat signature. And I know this is a long video. I do apologize, but once again, I like to reiterate: thirty-three yards, fifty-five yards, eighty-five yards, and a hundred and three or a hundred and five. I can't remember the last one. We'll say 103. Sake argument. Which is where the horses have been. I just wished the... Uh, Playback 
was as good as it is if you're looking through it firsthand. And you also have uh, your brightness setting as well. And a, uh, a little dial that you can uh, move it up and down to um, uh, kind of focus to your eye. It's no magnification, but it, it kind of focuses. And where I'm the only one here, the camera's looking out, I can't dial it in so I mean it it is what it is let's say a human was back here actually looking through it you could possibly dial it in just a little better And obviously, if I wasn't in the road, if I was over in the, in the dirt, it would definitely do a little different. I did not take that into consideration, like I said. And this is at night. This is like at 12 at night. Back to white hot, black hot. Insta alert. Great one, fire one, and then at here is iron and this when I go well beyond a hundred yards it's like a buck fifty is what I go down to because I go down to my dad's driveway And on the camera, it just kind of, you know, it just, you lose everything in the 50 range, 50 yard range. But on when you're looking at it first person, it's, you can tell what you're looking at. You can't identify, you know, okay, is this Joe? Is this Ron? You know, you can't do that at 100 yards, but. Been down, give the horses some grass. Let you know what I'm at the distance. And it was 33 paces, is what I went beyond the horses. Every time I left, my left foot hit the ground. But H color palette, like you know, I said before, it offers a, uh, obviously a different palette, but a different characteristic that you can see. When it hit, 
when a heat signature comes into its view, i.e. whether the foreground turns color or what have you, but it is a, a slight distinct difference. I do like the eight color palettes and I don't think you get that with the FLIR breach. You may get four or six, I don't, you know, just throwing out numbers here. And we all know that thermal image can't look through glass. That's one of its weaknesses. I mean, I've watched several videos, and they did the <laughs> uh, the Predator Schwarzenegger covered in mud. You know, it blocked him, but I don't know how long it would block him for. You know, he had his little kid to cover up in mud. And it did wash him out. You couldn't see him. I'm back at the 33-yard line. To me, the iron gives more of a true outline of an animal or a person. More crisp, sharper edges around the human and dog. But there you go. There you have it. Um, sorry for the long video. And like I said, 